Uh, it's Philip Drujin from Russia. And today we're going to talk about some more mining evidence. And uh, as I uh, as I've said yesterday during my uranium mining video that I have uh, some pictures of Sco Scottish mining places. So I've been searching through, through the internet and uh, found some interesting pictures of different Scottish landscapes and I found a bunch of these so these are like uh, also evidence of uh, using mining uh, in different uh, locations and making such mattress megaliths out of concrete mostly it looks like it is in the middle of nowhere just like in Russia in Chukotka or whatever uh, mostly it's a mountain area like this so no one is living here and uh, most likely it's uh, mining of some minerals and uh, we see this concrete as a byproduct on the top of those hills and which it creates uh, uh, such uh, illusion that it was just natural but it's not natural because it obviously uh, doesn't look the same as the rest of the terrain around and it has many different uh, many different rocks which are right now falling apart but actually it is a mattress concrete layer technology and we see uh, some people trying try to maybe uh, rebuild something over there and uh, make some make some construction out of this uh, rocks formation but actually these are rocks which are made by uh, destroying the concrete uh, structures on the top of those hills uh, they were destroyed and actually this is how it looks like but what I wanted to show you is not these uh, rocks I wanted to show you the actual uh, the actual those mattress megaliths they're made by uh, doing the same leaching procedure uh, while uh, mining and drilling and uh, it looks just like modern concrete maybe a little bit melted maybe some uh, weaponry did actually hit those structures and they were buildings before who knows uh, maybe it was destroyed by um, the weathering who knows because uh, I've seen tanks which were made of uh, steel and metal and stuff like that and they completely were dissolved by weather in 50 years they became just a pile of rusty dust you know and it was actually a metal stainless almost stainless tank just imagine what can happen to concrete building which was uh, made without any reinforcement or metal uh, you know reinforcement and it was uh, made out of those byproducts of mining so who knows sometimes it's pretty well in parallel but we still see it almost looks like a 3d printer who, which is uh, working and making those castles if, if you if you uh, search uh, through YouTube you may find those uh, 3d printers making castles out of the concrete and uh, it looks just the same 
and as I've shown in my previous videos uh, they just pour in those uh, concrete in those piles or making even uh, the concrete blocks it was just handy why not This one is pretty parallel here, but the time can pass and, and actually gets destroyed in hundreds and hundreds of years. It's just uh, unimaginary how this can hang, hang on so long in, in such conditions where uh, the snow and uh, the summer rotation of that bad and good weather cycle, which can completely destroy all those. Uh, outside layer structure and get deep inside while uh, maybe raining in the autumn and the next day it's freezing in the morning and just uh, splitting those constructions and those concrete blocks so it could actually happen but as we see it still has some um, signs of being uh, some technological building look at this so maybe it's a little bit melted or something like that maybe it was nuked who knows someone even made something with this pile of rocks which were split after explosions and I guess who knows and you know what actually they could could have mined there is mecha mecha light or whatever just let it macaulayite or whatever so they mined for that and uh, the chemical formula is this so why not It, maybe it was in use for some reason because uh, we don't know what's that mineral for because we don't have much of those mines maybe not even one today because we don't care about it and actually it has that mineral in some quantities over there and as I've said the area is pretty mountains uh, it's a northern part of the Scotland so Care Care Gorms National Cairn Gorms National Park uh, it's close to the other side what, the first one was over here it's close to you can see some some towns here but not a town here okay so uh, let's check some more so maybe this is just a pile of rocks but still it looks like a pile of concrete don't you see that And look they're all over tops of all hills so they could have you know have a drill here and just dump it close to the drill while leaching the metal or mineral maybe some inhabitants used the, those concrete for some reason maybe collecting water who knows while it was a nuclear winter uh, people survived as they could survive sometimes it even have such design like a wall some But still it's uh, though that mattress style that I've shown in my previous video when you pour all those concrete through uh, a pipeline or 
or maybe a, a 3D printer, who knows. But it's a splendid area over there and uh, might as well be inhabited. And now it looks like a, I don't know, devastating area, devastating. Okay, well maybe next time we'll talk about the burial hills, uh, maybe it's enough for uh, mine proving and leaching of metals as well uh, I was talking about the uranium mining in the previous videos maybe it's quite enough because we see these uh, mattress mountains we gotta understand that it was a mine before and it's a byproduct of the mining so thanks a lot for watching my video uh, share it, like subscribe on my channel and see you later bye